Sent to you now, the classic Josh Haston episode from one year ago, November 14th, 2012, in the midst of Operation Pillar of Defense. Noam Medin joins us live. Noam, what is the situation down in the South this morning? Well, pretty tense, like I might say. It's pretty tense over here, having over 120 rockets, missiles, Katyusha, ground missiles being fired towards Israel. In the past three days, it's a pretty intense uh, morning over here. But we have a ceasefire now, Noam. Should, uh, it's all okay now, right? Yeah, Peace. we cease the fire, what's it called? Exactly. You know, it's, it's, it, Josh, it's been almost 2,000 rockets that have been fired from Gaza towards Israel since the end of Operation Cast Lead. 2,000 rockets. And it's amazing that only now, here in Israel, there's more attention, not talking about international attention, until today. People have no clue what is flying over here. Uh, I've been pretty crazy. For me personally, it's, uh, I'm having flashbacks six years ago when I just moved to Zerot, having sirens going off first thing in the morning, followed by the direct explosions into the town. When this is a time and children are on the way to the schools, to the kindergartens, parents on the way to shop, to work, those were the times we'd have it directed into Zerot, into the entire area. So this is, this is bringing me back I just moved here to Zillow six years ago. So how, what are you spending your days doing uh, down there at the media center? Well, um, <laughs> it's completely absurd that right now, being the only media center on the ground over here, it's completely insane. We had non-sub journalists coming from all around uh, to try getting any kind of information in the last second. The Israeli government uh, are trying to you know, set up things in the last second to try managing uh, getting people, residents, to speak to ambassadors or foreign press. It's amazing how there's no planning. Nobody's thinking one step forward. It's completely insane what's going on going on over here. A lot we have to do right now. <laughs> and what about the, the government response? And we talked about this in the first se- se- uh, segment of the show. Um, it's, it appears to me we're seeing the same thing. It's almost as if the government is saying, if you fire one more rocket, just one more, and we're going to go in and take care of business. I mean, how much longer... Can they keep saying that? It's 13,000-plus rockets later. We're talking about a decade, an entire generation of children traumatized. And the talk and the the quotes I just read in the last segment here on the show essentially said, we know how to take care of terror. One more rocket, you know, if they escalate, we'll escalate. And also, which bothers me the most, is saying, if they stop firing, we're going to stop firing. As if, all right, we'll just let them go. Let them off the hook for what they've done. Uh, okay, so this is uh, very, very frustrating that, uh, you know, as you said, 13,000. And by the way, according to the Sterot security officer, the number is actually 26 to 27,000 rockets over the past over a decade. According to his accounts, he's the first one on the scene, Kobe Awush. Right. The first wow. one on the scene, and he gave me that number for the first time a couple of weeks ago. And it's just amazing that uh, what we uh, actually been coping with over here and expecting that they have a catastrophe in our part of the region, to we actually get, you know, the the the, uh, the green light to do what is right for our own people. Completely ridiculous. Yeah, that's what I said before. Do you agree that God forbid, God forbid, it should never come to that? But if God forbid a, a bus of children is hit in a direct rocket attack, you know, maybe then we'll do Which something. Which was it, by the way? We had a yeah, there was we a, had a school, we had a yellow school bug being hit here a year and a half ago. But one, but there was only one child killed. I mean, I'm right. saying that sarcastically right. because even one is one too many. But what, what's it going to take? A you know direct hit on uh, Schenken Street in Tel Aviv, uh, a rocket in the area of the the Kiria there in Tel Aviv, the military headquarters, oh, or God forbid, a bus of kids. I mean, what's it going to take? We understand uh, the being over here how, they, how things work is only when it bleeds, it leads. Only when there's blood, only then media takes notice, the government takes notice. But when psychological warfare. When people are traumatized completely, we're talking about, as I said, over a decade being under rocket fire. We're talking about years of rehabilitation. This is not enough to get the uh, encouragement uh, and the power to do what's right for our own people. And that's the most frustrating thing, doing this kind of work, knowing that sometimes you're, sit- you're here like a sitting duck. It's not until actually you have a catastrophe on our side of the, of the, of the fence. We would actually do what's right for our own people. And people are forgetting today, we have, this is a whole different ballgame today, when we have the Egyptian uh, government calling uh, Israel regime a racist, that's finding any any uh, uh, response to, uh, to do anything in Gaza because of the elections. Uh, these are our peace partners that we have today.